the man who founded Sunrise Ranch, Lloyd Arthur Meeker, who taught and wrote um, using the pen name Uranda. He was known by his readers and followers by that name, Uranda. Had a saying which he oft repeated. The saying goes like this According to your response, so is it established unto you. According to your response, so is it established unto you. You might say, it's whether we, we respond. So in a given circumstance, it, there might be something to respond to, but we just don't respond for whatever reason. Then it's how we respond. It's the level at which we respond. According to the response, that, that establishes our life pattern. <clears throat> For various reasons, people end up not feeling free to respond. Somehow disempowered, victimized by the world, it happened and there's nothing I can do, right? Right? These people did this, these people did that, this happened, and there, I have no response. Well, first of all, I'm here to say it's not true. <laughs> There's always something to respond to. And I guess we could start with that creative impulse, the creative urge inside us. It's always there. It never stopped being there. Ever. And any time we turn to it and respond to it, we're set free according to our response. If we turn to that urge to imagine and dream of something different, our mind is set free to entertain that and our lives are set free to live that. So response isn't just this general thing of responding to God or the divine, whatever you want to call it. And it's not, if it's going to be creative, responding to all the foibles, personality quirks, um, dysfunctionality of the people around you, when we all have some dose of that, I think. No, it's finding and per perceiving what is true in that other person that is unique to them, that is divine in them. And wholeheartedly responding to that. Response isn't some general thing, it's a specific thing. It's specific to the inspiration of the moment that is actually available now which is different than it was an hour ago and different what it'll be tomorrow. There is something specifically available, an intelligence, a guidance, a governance, a pattern of love that's specifically available now. It is telling us to do something now, to think something, to feel something. And so it is with one another. There is something to respond to in one another that it's specific and it's unique to them. 